Rob and Brendan. Hello. <laughs> Today we're going to uh, show you a quick play of our game that's on Kickstarter at the moment uh, called Cromlech. It's a, as it says here, it's a game of stones, druids, and magic, and we think it's quite a bit of fun. Uh, out on the table, just take you a quick on a quick run through. Um, that's all this is going to be. It's quick and dirty run through. Uh, we're going to play a whole game for you, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. I'm going to take you through the components really quickly. We've got our lintel deck, which uh, helps reinforce the stone circles we're building. Over here we've got two decks of mini cards that will build the aforementioned stone circles with. We've got a pool of various markers, which will be used um, to indicate the health level of the druids, which we also have. We each have four druids. Currently the artwork on those is exactly the same. Um, that will change in the production model. And then over here we have the dice, uh, which we'll get into. Uh, and you know what? All right, uh, I guess at that point. Let's go. Uh, let's go. And the first thing we do is decide who the first player is. Um, and I'm going to let you roll first. The, the way we do this is he's going to choose a result from the die, and if his psychic powers are strong, we will roll only once, and he will be the first player. If not, we alternate. Attack. And I rolled an earth. I, I didn't say what I was rolling, so I guess I was right. Uh, I'm going to roll uh, a defense. Uh, attack. Uh, mm -hmm. Health. Water. Uh, rend. Earth again. Okay, so if you keep doing this and you're not enjoying this part of the game, uh, you can go to just a single die roll. Uh, so I'm going to roll a water die. Uh, I'm going to get an attack. Um, I say build. That's a rend. Health. Build. <laughs> rend. Build. Rend. Uh, All right, finally. Okay, so uh, we begin with the Trilithon deck. Uh, we put out two cards. This is a simple drafting model where I pick one that I want, draw another, Rob picks one. I will pick this card. This is an air card. I'll take a fire. Uh, I will take a fire also. Notice the cards go in, in the top, then the right, then the bottom, then the left. That was not an actual decision. <laughs> uh, air. Oh, another one where they're both fire. Uh, water. Ah, I keep trying to stick Rob with more fire. <laughs> you're, you're doing a great job. Uh, the more, the less flexibility you have in your Cromlech, the harder it is to make choices about what you're going to roll, which limits your ability to be flexible in the face of overwhelming odds, which is what I'm hoping Rob will experience here. Okay, my final card was once again not a decision because there were two Earth results. Now, we're each going to take one of the four cards uh, that have Druids on them, and each of the Druids uh, has a major power. Some of them are more aggressive, some of them are more defensive. Uh, I already picked mine, so if you want to say what you're thinking. What you're thinking. Okay, he already picked his. I'm going to choose this handsome gent uh, with the antlers on his shoulders. I'm choosing him because, and usually this is going face down, but we're talking here. Um, usually going face down, and then we'd reveal and see what it is. I chose him because he um, he's a little more defensive. He's going to help me build my circle here in the early rounds of the game, and that has a, a definite advantage. Uh, I also chose a defensive druid, although I chose this nice lady. She is the uh, water and earth defensive druid who will help me build. Whereas mine is the air and fire defensive druid All right, who will so also help me build. So to start off we turn to, to begin with, we turn 90 degrees uh, and we're facing this way. So this is our target. These are the stones we can draw from. We call that east, facing east. Facing east, yeah. Uh, um, and the reason we're doing that is because when we're choosing our dice we're going to choose from either the right or the left hand side of our druid in the circle here. And when we're building and attacking, that's all going to happen at the head side, uh, in this case, what we call the east side. 
In the first year, you only get one hand of your druid. So either, in this, my case, I choose either blue or green, which is water or earth. I'll choose water, and then I can choose one of the two stones on that side. So I'll choose water again. By playing, rolling two water, I'm hoping to get a build together. So I rolled a rend and an attack. Um, the attack could be useful there, so I could reroll that to try to get that. But I'm gonna, I'm looking for a build here, so I'm gonna do the whole thing again. I've got one build. Uh, I would need another build before this is useful, so I'm going to try again with this blue die. This is my third and final roll, uh, so I get a defense. I could stop here, but blue is my major power, so I get one more roll, so I'm going to go and one more is, time. That is the effect of the major power. Uh, so now I have a, a water symbol and a build. The build allows me to take a lintel, which uh, I'm going to draw from the top. He has the choice of either taking the exposed card, which is an Jackpot. attack, or the top card, uh, which in this case gives him a, a, a die of his choosing to, to add. So next time, he, if he rolls that side, he'll be choosing three instead of two dice. Oops, this goes here. Yes, it does. Uh, and then um, uh, I could also get a health, uh, a heal, but I'm not wounded, so that, that was not part of it. All right, my turn, and I'm going to take a similar strategy in so much as I'm taking two defensive dice. I'm taking a white and a white. Um, these are defensive in so much as they all have five, all these dice have five common sides and then there's one unique side to each of the colors of dice. Uh, that is their element symbol and each of those has two functions. As Brendan said, his blue and the white here have the ability to both build and heal simultaneously, whereas the green and the red have the ability to do the opposite. They wound and they rend, which is how you destroy components of your enemy's circle. But in my case, two air is human. Uh, so I got two shields, which is a very defensive uh, role. I could stop there, and because these are aligned with my uh, elemental powers of fire and air, I could use those, but I'm not. Once again, I want to build. I got a rend, which by itself is not helpful, and a heal, which um, I'm not wounded, so I can't heal. Third roll. Oh, I got that element sign, so that's both a heal and a build. And I got a heal, which I'm not wounded, so I'm rerolling that. Using your major power. Using my major power. And not the best result, but not the worst. The element symbol, I can't, I, I can neither build nor can I heal with it, but this uh, oh. attack is going to work. Places one of the total of four wounds on his druid um, that are possible. If you would put a, a fourth stone instead, you, your druid is dead and you hand it to the other person who then scores it. All right, so we've each taken one turn in this season, so now we rotate, so we're facing south. Mm -hmm. And now we can draw from these sides. I've got my lintel here, which gives me a special power, so I'm definitely playing on this side. I'll take a water die, pick one of these. I'm going to take an earth. And the reason I'm taking an earth here is that he's a fire and air druid, which means if I roll an attack, I'm going to be able to harm him. Uh, and then I get this this uh, plus, which like gives me an extra die, so I'm actually rolling three already. Boom. We're on our way to seeing Rob destroyed. Look at that. Two build, uh, this is a build and heal together, and that's a build, so I've already matched that up. And that's a damage. I'm just going to sit with that roll. So a build and heal. I heal this wound. Uh, the wound, I will send a wound your way. Oh. And then the build, I can either take this defensive lintel or take from the top. I'm going to take a risk and take from the top, and I get a heal lintel, which means each time I activate that, I get a heal on my druid. Lucky so-and-so. All right, so uh, I have fire and earth and fire and earth uh, as my options. So my options are, in this case, somewhat limited. Um, but that means uh, I'm going to go with these aggressive dice. I'm going to go with my fire side, and I'm going to go with a fire stone. Uh -oh. And we're going to try and do some damage here. Uh, and so far, not doing a great job. Uh, this is a heal and a shield. Uh, the heal would heal me, mm -hmm. and, and the shield, shield would yeah. shield me, shield me. But 
I want to hurt you. Yeah, being greedy. All right. Oh. Mm, so there's half of a build, and this is an attack and a rend, which I'm going to try and get that on my third roll here. Oh! oh. And I it looked failed. like it was almost there. It did. Although, all is not lost. Right. This shield goes on, and it actually coexists with my uh, my wound. And then I'm going to wound you one. Oh. Unfortunately, I happen to. Wound. I see that you're about to heal that anyway. That's so. right. So now we turn. Uh, again, I'm I'm selecting. I could go green, green here if I wanted, or I can go blue and then one of these. Uh, but I do want to get that free heal, so I'm going to go blue, and I'll use the green stone here, and that activates this lintel, which gives me a free heal. In a bigger game, in a in first season, you don't really need to do this, but just to show, these green tokens are there to remind you to do your heal. When you're doing a longer, you'll see in the next round. When you have more dice, it's nice to have a reminder. So, I pick those both up. Before I roll, I resolve this, so I use the green to take care of the red. Now I'm fully healed, and ready to do something Cool. Ugh. All right, so this is a half of a rend and an attack, and this is a half of a build. Now here's my problem. This dice is far more likely to get a rend than a build, and this dice is more likely to get a build than a rend. So I have to decide here which, which way am I going. So this is one in three chance of getting a rend. This is one in three chance of getting a build, whereas this is a one in six chance of getting a build, and that's a one in six chance of getting a rend. Right, so... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the building. The building's been good for me. Oh, a second rend. So now do I do I keep going down the I'm gonna keep going down the path. And I end up with an attack. So now I've used up my three rolls. But remember, I get one more re-roll of my major power. So I'm gonna since I can't use this, I'll re-roll it and see if I can get something. A heal, which does not help me because I'm healed, but the attack goes there and the way this works is uh, instead of placing this on since I have a shield token. I just take the shield token off. I'm down to three more damages that can be dealt to me before my guy joins the bloody choir invisible. All right, my turn. Um, got an interesting mix of stones. I'm actually going to do a white for my major power on my uh, druid's right hand, and then I'm going to do a blue, uh, which is a water stone over here. Um, it won't be able to hurt him, it won't be able to heal me, but it gives me the best chance of building something, which I really feel a need to do. <laughs> the dice are not with you tonight. They are not. That was two attacks. I'm going to forego those. Do half a build. Half a build and a heal. Whew. I'm going to roll my third you. time. Ugh, oh, I got right. a rend. So this does nothing. A build and a rend together have no effect. But, since this is my major power, once again, I'm going to roll this a fourth time. And, and if I get a shield, I'll take it. Could be better. Alright, so now we rotate to the north. And mm -hmm. This is our last turn in this year. Uh, then we'll do some more building. Uh, now I've got my, my extra die over here, and you notice I have to use my green. But I'm going I'm to try that, getting a little more aggressive now. I'll go green, green. Might as well do all green. So. Well, I'm envious. I thought you were Rob. Oh, ho ho! It's comedy like that that makes Rattlebox games such a great <laughs> collective. All right, so uh, I rolled again. So now I've got three rends, which actually is okay, but not great because um, you know it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. It only does one and a half damage. But you can't do it. So I'm going to roll that a third time just to see what else I get. So I get an extra attack. So uh, this is an attack and a rend. So it's two attacks. So I ta I'm going to take both of these, but only one of them is going on because I had that shield. Right. And then this rend, this is the first rend we've had. Now the rend always has to like the builds. Remember the builds would go into the target season. The rend goes in the target season. So I take... The one at the druid's head. The one at, so I take one of those two stones, and because uh, I'm mean, I'm going to take the red, which is the more aggressive stone, to minimize the chance that he can get revenge. Now, he took that. He's placing it over there in the corner. Uh, that's what we call the score pile. If you look at the back of the card there, it has a number. The lintels have a 1, the trolithons and sarsens, which are the stone cards, have a 2, and the druids have a 3. And that's the point breakdown uh, as, as relates to their value. Uh, now I 
am going to go for another aggressive roll. No, I changed my mind. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to do my major power, air, and I'm going to do fire, which is aligned with air. That way, it'll, it'll probably give me the best result, right? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, mixed bag. Well, I mean, at, so these are both a heal and a build and an attack and a rend, respectively. Which this would heal one of my two wounds, and that would give him a wound. Um, but it's not what I came to do. So I'm going to roll again, leaving that rend and attack. And uh, uh. fortune has smiled on me. So I will hand a wound marker, and I will take, in a similar piece of strategy, this green earth card away, give myself two points, and give him a slightly more difficult time wounding me. All right, uh, so now we're at the end of year one. Uh, now we go into year two. Before we draw, we do our uh, divination round again to see who gets to go first in the next round. All right. Uh, well, here, you I'll, need to I'll start. I was I'm going to say this is a water sign. It's not. Uh, rend. Nope. Mm. This time, it is a heal. Uh, attack. Oh, I got him backwards. <laughs> uh, this is an attack. <gasps> and a fire sign. No. Should we go rolling together now? Yeah. All right, what is it going to be? Shield. Build. Uh, rend. Harm. I Arm. take it. Uh. So, I'm going first. Now, between the rounds here, um, we're going to have the option to switch out our druids, but we'll talk about that in a second. Right now, we'll get back to that same drafting. Uh, it's drafty in here. Uh, I am feeling aggressive, so I'm going to take this fire. We'll move these things over to give it a little more space. Okay, uh, I'll take the earth. All right. So you uh, notice we aren't filling in the circle. You go in a, an outer ring. Yeah, so we'll we'll have two rings at the end of this. Uh, here, I'll take the earth, please. Mm, water? <laughs> you fell into my trap. I'm taking the air. Uh, air. Okay. So one of the things I try to do is if I if I can, I try to build variety into the direction that I'm going. Uh, as again, it gives me the most flexibility. In that first round, it's not quite as evident. Are we back to top? Yep. But you were going first. Am I ahead of you? Ah, there we go. I made a whoopsie. In that first round, it wasn't quite so evident, but uh, as, as we go along, um, it's when your druids get killed, sometimes you have to change strategy or you change which stones you're concentrating on. So it's nice to have some variety in the stones you can pick from. Like here I got all four, here I got all four. Feeling pretty good about this one. Uh, that's you, right? Oh, is it? Um, nope, you're in your second one over there. All right, I'm oof. going fire. So you, Brendan's right in that you have to remember that the that's druid it. you have now... No, that's it. Yes, the druid that you have now is not necessarily the druid that you're going to have all game. All right. So now we can switch druids if we like. And as first player, Rob declares whether he's switching first. But I don't get to see which druid he switches to. Now if he switches, he will take the wounds off of the druid that's there, and then that druid kind of goes into retirement, and he can't use it again unless I manage to kill off all his other druids. I'm looking at the uh, stones that he's going to be using on his next turn, and I'm going to risk leaving this guy in. All right. I am going to switch out my druid. Oh. So she goes face down there, and I leave her there. Meanwhile, I choose this one. Beardy McGee, we call him. <laughs> uh, he is also a water earth druid and in a two-player game it's nice to have him opposing it's a lot easier to get attacks that way but he is an earth he, he majors in earth so he is going to be a bit more aggressive uh, yes so haha -ha. all right i am going to go first so we're going to rotate once again to face the east 
Another thing that your the two-player game doesn't give quite so strongly as other demos would is the two-player game is a lot about tends to be a lot about damaging stones and building lintels. The four-player game is far more brutal to the druids. So much so that you end up heal, healing and shielding other players' druids so that you can hopefully score them yourself as opposed to one of the right. opponents scoring them. Now, battle changes in the second year, and I want to walk you through how it does that. Uh, our more experienced druids um, are able to harness more elemental power. This is manifested by their choosing both of their powers on the druid and one from each pair on either side. Uh, I'm going to go for a lot of wind, a lot of air power here. Um, and actually, oh, straight straight down the alignment of air and fire. I'm rolling six dice. And I'm hoping that I can heal uh, my druid up, because if I don't, I'd say there's a fair chance he's going to get killed. Oh. Oh, wow. That's this a is lot a of nice, oh. nice roll. Um, I'm going to leave these two. These are two air uh, element results, which will uh, heal me completely and build me a stone. Oh, man. I've got a rend result here. Oh, my work. If I were feeling saucy, I'm going to roll these two. I am hoping to maybe kill his new druid. Oh. Got two wounds on him already. Beardy McGee could go, right? Oh. Two heals. That is the opposite of helpful. Right, third roll. Third roll. Oh. A build Whew. and a shield, which not the worst, but I'm going to reroll this shield using uh, that effect of my druid's major power. And it's still a shield. So we like to move the dice out of the rolling area in the order that we're resolving them, if you hadn't noticed. In this case, easy to resolve that because it does nothing. Um, and now... I will resolve my shield here, which will place a shield on my druid. And now I will resolve two wounds. Oh. Not one, Poor beard. but two. Poor beardy. And then I will take off two wounds using the heal function of those air element results. And I will build the face down card, which is a heal. Could be worse. And every time a card is taken from... Uh, from the lintel area, a new card is flipped face up. All right. Oh, well, undid all my work, Rob. Oh, I'm so sorry. So uh, your strategy was a good one, I thought, uh, sticking with <laughs> your water and air. So I will, I will follow that. Although I noticed you got, you managed to get an extra red in there. I am straight up blue green, blue green, blue green. Um, I do have my heal here, which will get rid of one of those wounds you just gave me. Uh, now let's see what we can do. Cromlech! Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Look at that. I got three wounds right out of the gate and a rend. Which means that if I can manage to roll a wound with this, I will... Oh, I won't kill his druid because he's got a <laughs> shield on there. Oh. Uh -huh. So do I get greedy and go for the wound? Because I got three wounds already. So I could re-roll these and try to get two more wounds with these three dice. Or I stick with what I have. Just see what I get here. Second roll, I got another shield. Might as well, third roll, one more shield, or a build, that was even less useful. So I'm gonna stop there. Okay, so. Can you no, roll that? No, no you're green. I can re-roll a green, power. but uh, I like my greens that I have. So I imagine you getting do. rid of that, we'll do three wounds your way. <laughs> which which makes me place two red stones on mm -hmm. because of my shield. And then I have a rend, so now I get to take. So uh, I can either take one of these stones, or I could take his lintel. Now, this is a tricky part because his lintel, he's going to get a heal every time he turns. He's going to turn, he's going to get that heal. I lose Every, every other turn, Yeah, I'll get a heal. Uh, but if I take that, I'm only getting one point for that. On the other hand, if I take one of his stones, I'm on my way to taking away some of his ability to attack me. Uh, I'm going to go for stone right now. I'll take the red stone, please. All right. By the way, Kaboom. just um, for reference, the reason this game's called Cromlech, that we rotate, yep. is because uh, that is the word for a stone circle. Turns out the word henge actually means hill. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think in some ways Henge would have been a worse name for a game than a Cromlech, but Sounds kind of reasonable, reasonable minds can, I think, disagree. Uh, sometimes you don't have a lot of choice. In this case, it's going to be a green. Um, and actually, maybe I'll, I'll go both green over there. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm rolling really aggressively here. I'm going to put that green marker there to remind me that now that I pick up the dice, I have the option, the right, to heal one of my wounds. I could also heal a wound. I could heal that wound. Why didn't you? Um, to show the, the generous nature of your red, white <laughs> druid there. Oh, he's the... Wow, that is... The a, dice are being generous. Yeah. Um, I am going to keep these two, which uh, give me a full build result and heal me my one wound. I'm going to keep this, which is a fire die with an element symbol, which uh, gives me a wound and a rend. I'm going to roll the rest again. Second roll. Boy, oh boy. Oh, matched up. Now here's an interesting little tidbit. Whenever you pair a rend, that doesn't necessarily mean you can destroy any stone. There's actually a chart in the book um, and Looks online. Like this. It's the rend chart. Uh, with these two dice, which are two fire dice, I can destroy anything but an air stone. Uh, with these two, however, if I went with an earth and a fire, I could destroy any stone. So those will be the two that I keep. Wow. All right, and now my third roll. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I am, so much for Beardy McGee. I am pleased. Uh, so two more oh. fire symbols. That means three wounds, oh. two brand results, a heal, and a build. It doesn't oh. get much better than that. So I'm taking, I'm going to start uh, over here. And uh, I got a reroll. This is like having, uh, once per turn, I get an other um, major power effect in so much as I can roll um, one die one more time, which is going to give me some nice flexibility. Um, and then I'm going to heal myself. And those <laughs> dice will be used. Look at it. Fresh. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to rend two stones. Um... And you know what? I'm just going to take those top two, oh, the air and geez. the water there. Um, and now he's rolling one fewer dice. When I turn that way. And I'm going to deal three wounds to you, oh. which, oh, wait. You never get to a point where you're, if you ever get to a point where you would be putting a fourth wound marker on, your druid is killed. And so Beardy McGee has, is, goes, is no more. Now, to the score pile. So yes, and by the way, in this game, score is considered public. If anyone ever asks you what your score is, count it out. Doesn't take but a moment. In this case, I have six points worth of stones, three points worth of druids, nine points total. I don't think I asked, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> four points. I have four points. Um, and here's something I know. He's going to put out a red or a white druid because he buried his other one. Right, so I can't use that other uh, green blue druid until the end of the game. So I'm going to put out, just so we can make sure we see everybody here, I'm going to put out uh, this lady, uh, a red and, an aggressive red and white druid with a flaming raven. Mm -hmm. I don't know, do we have a nickname for her? We don't. Okay. Oh, that was a brutal turn. All right, so it, it is my turn now. Uh, and, and see, this is where I'm glad that I had some variety in my stones, because... You're actually uh, just uh, oh, subtle. Am I facing the wrong way? Dude, yeah, you just oh, put it in upside down. Party pooper. Oh. Oops. After a technical error made us lose a couple turns, we reset back to this point. But we didn't get it quite right. Fear not, the actions we take on screen convey gameplay accurately, but our scores are a bit off. Don't tell Rob. Now yep. we rotate for your turn? Yep. All right, so now we're now facing west on our last uh, year of the game. The penultimate turn. Yes. So again, I get my red and white, red and white. Things are looking grim here. 
Uh, so I think I'm going to go with an extra white on this side so that I can try to heal up a bit. Uh, I don't want to lose the antler man. <laughs> and rolled. Okay. Uh, we got a couple rends. We got a couple heals and a build. Uh, this blue attack won't do me any good. I don't need this red heal because I get two from that. And this red attack will hurt you, so I'll keep that. Second roll, I get a build and a blue heal. The blue heal won't help me at all. Will help me. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, third roll, aha, a build and a heal. The blue heal again won't help me, but the red, the he the build will. So, this gives me two heals. Those two are errors there. Uh, this gives you one wound. My second wound. Fire uh, die. I have a, a build here, so I will draw a lintel. I get a re-roll, but I have a join there, so I'm not going to switch that out. Score Just it. score the lintel. Uh, I have another build here, which I get a, an extra die, which is slightly better than the join. Uh, the join is pretty nice. It does give you an extra die, but you don't get to choose the die. The extra die gives it. And if he's trying to kill my druid... Uh, he's only got a blue and a white there. He'd probably want a red. Or he's a got lots yeah, of flexibility red. there. Uh, and then I get one rend. Uh, so I will... You know, you've been doing too good with those rerolls. I'm going to take your reroll lintel uh, instead of your one. stone because I think you've been getting more than one point out of it. And I don't want to be using it <sighs> And that, uh, that last round. And I think maybe I'm not a huge threat right now. That's What was the score? Uh, well, yes, that was that too. Low to high. Um, all right, that was your turn in this mm. direction. Now mine. I'm trying to hurt you badly and personally. Do you mean you're trying badly to hurt me? <laughs> a little both. <laughs> a little from column A and a little from column B. All right, so three earth, one water, one air. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. We got two wounds and a rend there. So it looks like that fancy new lintel I got is going to go the way of the dodo. Um, and I got two shields that would shield me, and I am wounded. But I am also... Vengeful. Yes, and foolish. So I'm going to re-roll all three of these dice, keeping those two earth element results. I got another wound, no. and I'm going to keep it. I got a build and a shield, and I'm going to reroll both those my third time. And I got a build and a shield that won't help me. Now, water's my major power, so I'm going to reroll it, because I want to get a wound. But Ooh. I got a build. Now, I have a reroll lintel over here. No. And I'm going to use that to re-roll one more. Oh, no. Gave me a shield, which isn't the worst result. I mm -hmm. take a shield. I still have the two wounds, but I'm a little uh, safer than I was before. This white shield I could take that will off not your help me. Oh, I don't want to burden you. Uh, uh, right. Especially not someone who's so badly wounded. Oh, blamo. And I will, in fact, limit your choices by taking this. Uh, not that I could take anything else. Uh, um, and I think at that point, we rotate to the north for the third and final time in this game. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, yes. So... I'm just going to go straight, red, white, all the way. Almost uh, American. That's right. Could have added a blue. I could have, you know? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> we here at Rattlebox, we're patriotic. <laughs> you notice on our website, we've got some red and blue. Uh, why not show your patriotism today and support Cromlech on Kickstarter? See how I work that in there? Super smooth. I didn't even notice it. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so I got a, a pair of the uh, defensive elements, air and water, which gives me a build. Got a couple shields there, which might help me given how much brutality uh, he's been slinging my way. I have a wound, but I have this unmatched rend. So uh, I think I'm actually going to re-roll these two and see what I get. Second roll. 
So I can roll. Oh, I get a matched rend there now. So I have a full rend. And I have uh, this air element. So now I'm stuck with a wound and an air heal. Got one more heal here. That that actually gives me some protection. Uh, I think we'll reroll that for my third roll. And I get another wound again. So now I have an unmatched build. I'm going to use my major power to reroll this one more time. And I get another build, which does not help me at all. So that go that does not help. This sends one wound your way. That's uh, actually I'm just going to take off that shield mm -hmm. since it's there, and that's what it's for. Uh, this air gives me a heal, uh, but this water does not because I am fire air. That would be steam. That's no good. Uh, <laughs> I'll do a build, and I will take this. Oh, look at that! But I can't build it anywhere because. Rob's been beating up on my Cromlech. Oh, he exposed another one of those. Oh, geez. Uh, and then I have a rend. You'll never get to use it. Exactly. Um, that I would rend, take your... Go ahead. Because it's two reds, and, and as we said, we've got our handy-dandy chart. It can, it can destroy this earth. It can destroy this fire. My air is perfectly safe. Well, I, I'll take the fire then. What? You can't have the air. Fire. There fire, are fire. there are going to be instances where you cannot take a stone because the effect doesn't apply. Indeed. Uh, over here in my east position where I've got one blue stone, that is a completely mm -hmm. likely scenario. And it's one you should keep an eye out for uh, when you're keeping results. You don't want to accidentally keep a rend that'll do nothing for you. That's a waste of two dice. And, and dice are precious. Mm-hmm. Man, is that magic. All right. All right, last turn. Last turn. All right, I have to pick some dice. And not as many as I'd like, but as many as I can. Uh, I want to kill his druid, and I want to take one of his stones. And this is possible with five dice. It's just going to take a little skill, a little luck. Wow. <laughs> you can build a whole lot of lintels. I could, <laughs> man, but that's not shan't. the right roll. I'm gonna keep yeah, this red. Would... I've got a here. I've got a uh, a fire element symbol. I'm gonna keep that uh, because it might help me break one of his stones, and it's not gonna help me hurt him. And I'm not looking for a lintel, which is a shame because I have four results for that. <laughs> 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 My second roll results in a single wound, one wound, and three, three build wounds. results, yeah. which usually would be great. I right. would kill for this at other times, right? But this is not those times. The third roll, uh, a build. Uh, I pair the uh, the run result, um, and I put one wound on. You know what? If I can get one more wound on him, he's dead. Use my major power. I'm gonna sacrifice the sure one point for the of this of build three. for the possibility of three. You gotta build and a heal. Build and heal. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't have any more of those uh, reroll lintels in this direction. We gotta build and a heal. The build, it's just gonna go right in my score pile, the uh, lintel. And. The heal I already did for all the good that did me. You take one wound, and I take, with this red and green, I can take either of these stones. I will take the green one for no particular reason in this case, since that's the last action of the whole game. And now we're done, except the crying and the scorekeeping. Uh. Let's see. Uh, here are five stone cards. 10 points, and then 6, 7, 8. I have 18 points. Uh, and I have 5, or I have 10, 20, 9 points. <gasps> it's usually not like that. This was an unusual game, but uh, sometimes that's brutal. how it goes. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's Cromluck. Thanks for watching all the way down here to the bitter end. Uh, if it's before... Uh, November 15th. 
of 2000, 2015. If you're watching this in near November 15th of 2016, pop us an email. We'd love to hear you. <laughs> Tweet at us. We'd love to hear that you're watching the Crown Like How to Play video. We'll, we'll mail you something signed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the, the nearest email that we get to November 15th, 2016, gets something signed in the Promise. Uh, but yeah, so um, please uh, back the Kickstarter. You can find it by searching for Cromlech, C-R-O-M-L-E-C-H. And I bet there's a link over here or down there. Over here. Anyway. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Good night.